Well, I have with me here Professor Ian Hutchinson from MIT, and he's going to be giving the uh, Faraday uh, lecture later today. And I just wondered maybe if you could uh, start off by explaining to us uh, a little bit about the focus of the lecture and exactly what it is you mean by scientism. Right, well the title of the lecture is Scientism, How Much Faith Should We Have in Science? Uh, this is going to be drawn in, in a large part uh, on material from my book which I call uh, Monopolizing Knowledge. So scientism is the belief that science is all the real knowledge there is. In other words, that the methods of natural sciences are the way we find out knowledge and that if we uh, think that there are other ways, well, they're, most, they're mostly um, the source of opinion or superstition or the kinds of things which don't have the same credibility as science. And, the, and part of the reason for addressing scientism is that I think that scientism, this belief that science is all the real knowledge there is, is one of the most important aspects of the discussion between faith, Christian faith particularly I'll speak about, um, and science itself. Um, one of the reasons why scientism is so interesting and the reason why I went into it in great depth in my book, which, which talks uh, about the cultural background, the historical background, the philosophy behind scientism, um, the reason why that's so important is because it is, is um, a, an underlying part of the discussion and it actually pollutes the discussion very much between uh, science and religious faith. But scientism doesn't have just uh, the question of religious faith um, as one of its controversial partners. In fact, scientism um, is, in a certain sense, in, in contrast with and in sometimes uh, in, in argument with or in contradiction with a whole host of other aspects of human knowledge. So uh, it's my firm belief that science, while it gives us real knowledge, is a long way from being all the knowledge there is and that there is real knowledge in history, in philosophy, uh, in jurisprudence, in uh, economics, but that all of these things are really different types of knowledge. They are acquired by methods that are different from those of the natural sciences. And to, and to suppose that um, science is all the real knowledge there is really challenges all of those disciplines and very often distorts those disciplines also. Um, I'm sure quite a lot of people um, may not be familiar with the term scientism or maybe not hear about it so much. Uh, where do you think it ends up being advocated uh, perhaps um, more covertly or less directly? Well, um, scientism is not a term, term that those who favour scientism will, are likely to adopt. Scientism as a word was uh, pr promoted in large measure by F.W. Hayek in a, in a strong critique of scientism that he wrote. He's a, he's a Nobel Prize winning economist and he was, he, he was at pains to critique the scientism that he observed uh, within so sociology and the other social disciplines. So right from um, uh, 50 or 60 years ago the word scientism has been a term of disapprobation. Uh, concerning scientism. So those who advocate scientism only very rarely adopt it um, as, as a, a word that they want to describe their activities. And also, um, by and large, scientism is not very explicit. It tends to be rather implicit. It tends to be an assumption rather than um, something which is upfront, uh, explicitly advocated. Um, so in my talk, I will um, discuss the, the less explicit aspects of scientism, but I'll also give you examples of, uh, in, the mod in modern writing, people who have kind of explicitly uh, adopted scientism. So the ways that it often arises um, is, in, in, particularly in talking about uh, religious questions, um, are in statements uh, such as those which are commonplace um, in some of the um, anti-theistic writings of this century um, where people talk about the question of God being a scientific question. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of assertion is very widespread in anti-theistic writings and, um, and really in a certain sense it's a remarkable idea 
that the idea of the existence of God would be a scientific question in the sense of a natural science question. Because if one could think about almost any question that would, of all the questions that we could ask ourselves, uh, that might not be a scientific question. It seems to me that a metaphysical question like the existence of God is a prime example of a question which is not a scientific question. And so to insist that it is a scientific question can make sense or can go by, uh, could be accommodated, can be allowed, only in, a, in a, an intellectual environment that is saturated with this implicit belief that, well, science is all the real knowledge there is. And... Um, so uh, that would be an example that I would give you. But I mean, I think that, there, that, that, as I was saying, scientism does tend to pollute even the non-scientific disciplines, those disciplines which are clearly not natural sciences. Um, and it, there is a tendency on the part of a whole host of disciplines within the academy today uh, to try to take the view that, um, well, if science is all the real knowledge there is, I better be clear that I am a science. And so um, when people uh, promulgate new disciplines, you know, um, whether it's um, um, social type of disciplines or any others, there is a great tendency to refer to those disciplines as being science uh, or give them uh, the word science in their names, which is in a certain sense an attempt to uh, establish and accommodate the scientific viewpoint. Professor Ian Hutchinson, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to your lecture later today.